Okay, Turnabout Samurai, Day 3 Trial. October 19th, 9.42 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby, number one. Um, Mr. Wright? Yes? Why do you look so... unhappy? Uh, oh, uh, oh, nothing. <laughs> really, it, it's nothing. Right, Nia? Uh-oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix? Your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. This is no time for dead people jokes. Please. You know, we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet, if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? We have to find something, Phoenix. Today. It's that, or lose the trial. This isn't going to be easy. October 19th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number four. Number four? We usually go to number four? The court is now in, uh, in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that the, there were other people present at the studios. Today, I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if that producer is going to come out. The prosecution calls Mr. Sal Manella to the stand. Or that director. I... Please, no. No. Am I going to have to... Oh, no. Will the witness state his name and profession? How rude can you get? You don't know. I'm the director. I make the steel samurai noob. Oh, for laughing. S Sal Manella. I'm a director. Television. Good job, Algeworth. Good, good job. Were you at the Global Studios on the day of the murder? Yes, Your Honor. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix. Let's start by picking this testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what it, that means. Someone in the trailer on that day did it. R right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. Witnesses' testimony. The day of the murder. I was at the studios from around 9 that morning. During the morning, I was doing, um, an action scene run-through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area, but I had a meeting in the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. Ah, uh, is that why the food was suspicious? Uh, or at least they mentioned it was suspicious? Uh, because it seems like they had something to eat over at the trailer. At least a couple people did. I don't know who all was at the meeting. Uh, we were at the meeting until around 4. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one, uh, left their chairs. That's about it. Hmm. The time of Mr. Hammer's death was at 2.30pm, and according to your testimony, you were in the, uh, in a meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. The day of the murder. I was at the studios from around 9 that morning. Do you have any proof you were there? Is that when you always come to work? Oh. Oh no. I come in all sorts of hours. It's the industry way. Yeah, I know all about the freak, you, the freaks in your industry. Still, we, I was pretty busy all that day. What? I actually do not know that one. FWIW? Tell us more about that. During the morning, I was doing, um, an action scene to run through. So I'm pretty uncertain about that. In the employee area? That's right. It was a flight scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. Was anyone else at the run through? Oh, yeah. The security lady was sitting there watching the whole thing. Well, she was cheering on Hammer, if you can believe it. She certainly has the lungs for it. Anyone else? 
Nope, just those four. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. They did, yes. So, in the end, you didn't get to eat? Yeah, no steak, at least. Can you believe it? That must have been tough. Phoenix, yeah? Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? It does seem wrong. Uh, I don't know if I could say it's contradictory, but it is wrong. It's actually, it's not really vague. I'll, I'll say it's contradictory. Yeah, it does seem odd now that you mention it. Mr. Manella. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you mean, Swats? When I went to that trailer, I saw something on the table. There were two plates on the table, the same kind of plates as in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? No, er, uh, um, eh, uh, uh, good call. I, er, I was so embarrassed so I didn't mention it. But I did eat, after all. Please stop wagging your tongue. A T-bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all that trouble. I bought it to the trailer thinking I could eat it later. Clearly, a man who likes to eat. I'd suspect it as much. So when exactly did you eat it? We took one break during lunch that meeting. Uh, I woofed it down that girl. A mental image I will carry with me to my grave. Uh, I avoided doing that, Phoenix. Wait a second. If they took a break in that meeting, that contradicts his testimony. I'll press on that one a bit more. We were in the meeting until around 4. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. You didn't take a single break? Er, well... Yeah, not a one. What's he sweating so much about, I wonder? If only I had an idea. Wait a second. Maybe I have <laughs> Alzheimer's. Maybe I do have an idea. Press harder. Wait a second. I just remembered. Mr. Manoa, you co just contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell the court that you ate the T-bone straight steak during a break? Oops. All four laughing. Well? Um... Mr. Manoa, what's this about? Uh, well, yeah, I guess we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job. If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Your Honor? I call on the witness to testify uh, to the court about this break. Very well. Mr. Mello, your testimony, please? Uh, er... Heh, heh, heh. Uh-oh. Edgeworth is laughing. So he either prepped this guy, or this has absolutely nothing to do with the murder. The break. Yeah, for... I, I still have no idea what that means. I might look that up later. Uh, we took a break. Or a while, so. uh, but it was only 15 minutes. That's only 13 in base 2. Base 12? Not enough time for someone to say, commit murder in Studio 1. That's only enough time to eat a T-bone steak if you ask me, Steams. Hmm. I don't think it would even be enough time for that, but that's just the, me. Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. The break. I... Will he tell me what foot is FWIW is if I press on him? What time exactly did you take this break? Uh, hmm. I'd say it was around 2.30 or so until 2.45. 2.30? That's the time of the death. So he could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer, and come back. I guess it's possible time-wise. Oh, Edgeworth's watching carefully. But it was only 15 minutes. That's only 13 in base 12. Base 12. What were you doing for those 15 minutes? Eating my Team One steak? What else? There were two plates on the trailer table. Oh, right. The other one was Divas. Sorry, Divas squeeze plate. Divas squeeze the producer. To eat a T-bone steak in 15 minutes. That's quite a feat. 
Not enough time for someone to say commit murder in Studio One. Why is that? Oh, he was waiting. Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor, the testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It is impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. No, no, they didn't. Because didn't the thing break down? Uh, or was that earlier? I don't remember. Uh, I'm blanking a little bit. Well, Mr. Wright? Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. Do you claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One? No, it's impossible. I don't want to write off so many possible suspects, but I can't keep claiming the impossible either. I agree that it was impossible for anyone to enter the trailer to go to Studio One in that time. Ha, huh, ha. Huh. I thought you might be thoughtlessly treading on that thin ice again. But I see you had at least an inkling of the truth. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? Yeah, the thing broke down, didn't it? It's, uh, simple. Uh, true, the break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Mrs. Monk... Was it a mister? Oh, well. The fallen Mrs. Monkey Head was barred... The way, uh, barred the way. Around, at around 2.15, the strongest of wind knocked off the studio mascot's head. There go. When the people in the trailer took a break at 2.30, the way to the studio was blocked. Blocked by Miss Monkey's head. Severed head. It's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point. Okay, I was re I remember that for some odd reason. And somehow, I feel no desire to correct him. I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to reveal... to relieve Mr. Manoa from the stand. What? It's over? Very well. The court's opinion on this case a is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in the Studio uh, 2 on the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1, and there they therefore, therefore have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it on that day. All that is lack uh, is decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find... Mr. Power is guilty, Your Honor. The prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have decisive evidence. A witness. That's the kid. Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw at the very moment the Steel Samurai skewered the victim. Order. I will have order. I see. The court will take a ten minute recess, after which we will hear your witness. The court is adjourned for recess. October 19th, 11.04 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 1. What do we do now, Mia? If everyone in that trailer has an alibi... I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. Mia? D don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what do hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial before, not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. People in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that, but I was wrong. That's all there is. Um, er, what's going to happen to me? It kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee you. Leave it to us, and be yourself. Be strong. You are the Steel Samurai. Here are the children everywhere, after all. I you. Thanks. Okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. October 19th, 11.15 a.m. District Court, courtroom number four. Court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution has a concern. As our witness is grade schooler of tender years, and this is a murder case, we worry that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma f uh, with his cruel questioning. Nice to see Edgeworth taking the moral high ground. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackins to the stand. 
<laughs> He's so short. That's adorable. Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on. Oh, right. Guard, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates should do. Oh, now I'm remembering. Nozaki. And the boxes. Oh, God. Will the witness state his name and grade in school? Witness? What? Just because you're all growing up doesn't mean you can push me around. Cody? Answer this question, okay? Hey, it's you, the nice lady. I'm Cody Hackins. I'm in second grade. I get it. The feeling this is going to be a long, long day. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. Oh, he's going to break. Witness, er, I mean, Cody. He's having trouble with this gentle thing. You were present, er... You were at Global Studios on the day of the... Uh, Ennis, did it? You got a problem with that? Please tell us what you saw that day. What, well, Pops? You want me to tell you and Gramps over there with a beard? Just... Mr. Edgeworth will be fun. I prefer bearded gentlemen myself. A oh, very long day. <laughs> Incidentally, photographic equipment is strictly forbidden on the, in the courtroom. Uh, hmm. My apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. I'd like special permission if that's possible. Wait, so are you saying you had to bargain terms with a kid and you lost? Hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it yet. I uh, used it all that good yet. But I bring it with me wherever I go. Phoenix, I wonder if he had that camera on on the day of the murder. You better make note of the court that in the court record. Can I check? Yeah, I want to check it real quick. Okay, all that I'm sure of. Path to glory. Yeah, all the scenes. Uh, I almost forgot I had that. Uh, a new digital camera. Cody carries it though. He's still learning how to use. Okay, I can't check if it has any pictures. Very well, Cody. Please testify to the court what you saw on the day of that incident. Witnesses account, witness testimony. I wanted to see a Steel Samurai rehearsal, just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went to the woods off uh, the path so the old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost on the way though, for about 30 minutes. When I came out by the studio there was the Steel Samurai. I totally rocked, right before my eyes out came the bad guy. Of course, the Steel Samurai took him down, pow. If I had my camera with me, that would have been the time for the shot, I tell you. Anyway, I couldn't get into Studio One, or it, into the studios, so I went home. Hmm. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. And be gentle. Remember, you're talking to a child. This kid is tougher than most adults we see here. Yeah, honestly. He, he is going to be a tough one to correct, probably. I understand why he wanted to do that. He's a fan. Map on the internet. There you go. What's on an off pass of the old lady wouldn't catch me? Yeah, that's what I wonder about. If you had your camera? You mean you weren't carrying your camera then? No, I wasn't. It's not like I have it all the time. Really? I guess seeing the killing freaked him out and he went home. Phoenix, remember, he's a child. Use gentle words. It'll be far. Easy for you to say. I want to see Steel Samurai here, so just once. Uh, or something. Off the path? Yeah, you know how the studios are in the valley there? If you go to the path a little, there's the woods. That's where I was. I see. Anyhow. Did nothing unusual happen on your way to the studio? Unusual? Did you see this monkey by any chance? Oh, you mean Mr. Monkey? Yeah, I saw him, but his head wasn't busted. So you went straight to the stu- Wait, the head wasn't busted, but when did he go there? 
What time did you get? You lo uh, got lost in the woods? Yeah. I couldn't figure out uh, which way I was walking. Man, I was relieved when I saw the blue studio doors. But guess what happened next? I came up by the studio. There was a steel samurai. What was he doing? And what did he look like? The steel samurai? Yeah, he was standing by the studio gate. It looked like he was thinking about something before going in. Then he opened up the gate and went inside. I see. What then? What sort of bad guy was it? A guy? A person? Kinda tall. Skinny. Are you sure it was a guy? I don't know. He was kinda far away. Huh. He's being awfully vague. Where's the seal semi took him down, pal? What happened to the bad guy? Oh boy. Huh? Well... He... Well, he kinda didn't move. Not a bit. Like he was dead. I guess he's a real pro. What a great actor. Uh, yes, I suppose he was. I guess seeing the killing freaked him out, he went home. Oh, that was the... It, okay. Okay, I'm gonna pause this before I continue on with pressing on him.